what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are going to go ahead and discuss some call of duty black ops cold war specifically i wanted to discuss the roadmap that the devs just put out and how exactly it's going to be integrated into the current system in place but before we get into any of that i wanted to take a moment to say big ups and thanks to my notification crew out there you guys are awesome and it has been so much fun interacting with you all down in the comments sections if you're interested in being a part of that squad simply like the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications and leave me a comment down below letting me know that all being said in the background i have my last bit of call of duty black ops cold war footage so definitely do enjoy that as we get through the topic of discussion today that all being said let's go ahead and jump into it as we approach the release of call of duty black ops cold war it is no surprise that information concerning the game how it's going to run and its relation to the war zone has begun to be revealed. The devs went ahead and released a roadmap of sorts, thus granting a glance into the future of the game. And honestly, after reading through it, it is clear that this time around, they didn't really give too much information out compared to normal Call of Duty releases or new season releases. However, in the end, we did get some information, so I'll definitely be sharing that with you. First and foremost, Nuketown is coming back we already knew that and everybody was already hyped to get it back and to definitely get back to nuketown and then beast and noobs aka me on that map I, i'm gonna be honest i'm not a nuketowner and normally if i can vote against i definitely do but i'm glad there are people out there who enjoy the map nevertheless it will be playable again on november 24th so definitely look out for that season one of black ops cold war is scheduled to begin on december 10th this is a significant date because this update will serve as the date when the game is integrated with the war zone and modern warfare as a whole so i definitely am going to be looking out for that because i want to see how the devs are actually going to do this apparently after the integration is complete players that play war zone mw and cold war will be able to gain a key from each individual game towards all the rest of the games as well so when it comes to progression you can play any of them and you should be able to progress normally and gain xp for each individual game so basically if you play mw or the war zone i'm guessing you can use that xp in cold war as well the way it sounds is probably going to be like the tier system but shared progression that's exactly how that reads and i'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work this one is a little bit dicey to me because it wasn't really flushed out but i'm sure the devs are at work so we're gonna have to wait and see what we actually get moving on the season one release will come with all the usuals that we know and love so new weapons new character skins new map etc etc nothing new here what is new however is that Treyarch did go ahead and mention the possibility that a new prestige mode would be coming to the game and no I'm not talking about the seasonal recess that we have now but a true prestige mode now I don't know how that's going to work with Warzone and MW being in the mix but it was mentioned and with it it will probably require some sort of major reset or a separate leveling system in addition to what's already present again we have have no idea how the devs are planning on integrating all of this but they are definitely working on something cool so we will definitely know very very soon the game comes out next week so they don't have much time left so they only got a couple of weeks to make all this happen so we'll definitely know soon that was about it like i said it wasn't that much revealed but we did have some new info so i wanted to at least bring it to you guys the game comes out next week so we will definitely know sooner rather than later but that's about it that's all i got on this what do you all think are you hyped for the game do you want to play on nuketown again do you want a prestige mode let me hear it down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video this was a short one but sometimes it'd be like that so do me that favor like the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notification i appreciate all of you out there and i'll definitely see you on the next one